Welcome back to Computer Class with Learning Academy. Today we are going to explore another great program that we use for typing. That is called the Notepad. Let me share my screen so I can show you where to find it. So when you go back to the desktop, this at the bottom here is called the taskbar. Do you see my mouse moving? That's the taskbar. And the taskbar has the date and time. It has other icons that you can open up and see. Uh, but it also has all these icons that you, you can save on your taskbar so that you can find them easier. Now, this one right here is the notepad. I'm going to click my left mouse button once and it will open up the notepad for me. There are many interesting things you can do on a notepad. Firstly, of course, you can type. But let's explore the ribbon right here. You can see the file right here. It's called the this one file edit format view help. This is called the menu bar. Then we have the close button. Then we have maximize and minimize. All right. And this white area is where we type all the text. Now looking at your book, so we are looking at chapter eight, okay? And that gives us a few steps that I want to show all of them to you. Firstly, they talk about how to enter text. Now, when you have your keyboard in front of you, we can type different kinds of names. In your book, they have given the names of flowers. So let's try that. So they have the rose, then they have the lily. So do you see, every time I type, I press the enter key and the cursor goes to the next line. Now, if I'm writing a full sentence, so if I'm writing, I am a student, then these spaces that I was able to put in between, I am, am a, a student is done with the use of the space bar. But basically you can type anything on a notepad. You can type an essay, you can type a sentence, you can type numbers and letters, alphabet symbols, all kinds of things. The next topic your book covers is how to change the font. Now that's a fun thing. So do you see this, this tab here called format? Let's press that. If you click on it, you see the, uh, the font opens up. So you click on font and you have all the options here. Look at the number of font options available. That's many, isn't it? And then there are font styles and font size. Let's play around with a few of these. So in order to change the font, I'm going to highlight rows, go back to format and then font, and then change and then select one of the font things. So I'm picking Comic Sans here and I'm making it bold and I'm going to make the size really big. And right here, you can see the sample of what might happen to rows. When I click OK, it changes my font. Isn't that exciting? Let's try it again. Go to format, go to font, and then let's try a different one. Let's try this one. And click OK, and it changes the font again. So you can change your font in any shape or form that you like and play around with it on your own computer. The other thing I showed you already is the font size, right? So the sizes come in your notepad. They are from size eight all the way to size 72. So that's a pretty big range. So if I click on eight, it makes my writing really, really small. Okay, so let's go back to making this all normal so we can read it clearly. So I'm going to put this back as Arial font and I'm going to make it narrow bold so it's easier to read and I'm going to turn it to 16 font size 16 and I click OK. So this is how my list looks right now. Now in case you forgot if in case you forgot to put something like for instance here we could put an adjective in. How do you do that? You take your mouse which your cursor is here, right? At the end of the line, you could easily take it and move your mouse and click right here. The other way to do it is to use the arrow keys and on your keypad and then move it. But you can simply click anywhere you want to enter a new word 
and then you can write I am a good student press the space bar and the sentence can be changed like that all right now the last thing that we want to teach that we want to learn together today is deleting a letter or a word so now in case we we don't want these flower names of these flowers here again we'll take the mouse and we'll put it right there and we can use the we can we can just uh, according to this let's see they are asking us to do delete so how about that we click on double click on the word and it selects the whole word and we click delete so take your mouse to the word anywhere on the word double click selects the whole word and you press delete we we'll do the same to lotus and delete well wasn't that fun there are so many more functions to explore but that's all for today. We're going to send you more worksheets and play around with your notepad and your computer so that you can get more familiar with it. See you next time.